Crocs. Fries. That sounds good too. I eat fries and cookies. So it happened again. You get the right materials, you get the right look, but there's something missing. What, you, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Topo Designs. Their backpacks look awesome. They have great colors. They, they make sure the style is right. But when you actually put it in your hands, you're like, man, this is a letdown. Let me not give it ahead of myself. Let's talk about this backpack. Let's walk through it. Here's the review. All right, here it is. This is the Topes Design Rover Pack. Pretty cool um, colorway with this darker green and a lighter green on the bottom and these red pool tabs, pretty cool. It's a, like a simplistic design. Pretty simplistic. Let's run through some of the features. It's made of a 1000D Cordura on the bottom, a 400D uh, nylon, and then the interior is a 420D. It's 11 inches wide, 17 inches high, and it can expand out to 10 inches. This is a 20 liter pack made in the USA in Colorado. So let's take a look from the bottom to the top of this bag. Right here in the front, you get a little um, logo, Topes Designs, and you got this quick grab pocket right here with this huge, huge zipper. These are probably some of the biggest zippers I've seen on a bag, and they're YKK, which are great you know, design right here. This this pocket is kind of small, kind of small, I have big hands, but this pocket's kind of small. Let's measure it. We'll say about five and a half inches deep and about 10 inches wide. So, Good for maybe some pens or something like that. Uh, nothing too big, maybe your keys or, you know, anything you wanna throw in there real quick. And then let's take a look at the side. Um, this is where the back kinda fell apart for me right here, is this water bottle pocket. I mean, I guess you could stick like a small, just plain, you know, water bottle in there, like a, but I got my clean canteen right here. It barely fits. And then it starts to eat up space inside the bag. And since this bag is only 20 liters, you don't really have too much space. So you get, it, it will fit this 27 ounce clean canteen though. Forget about a 32 ounce analogy, it's not gonna fit in there. Um, then you got these <laughs> cinch straps, I'm just telling you, it's not gonna fit in there. Uh, you have these cinch straps on the side, actually you have two of them so you could really compress the load down. But this bag is so small, I don't know how much stuff you could really be trying to compress, you know, because you can't really put too, too much in this bag. It's Looks like it's designed for EDC um, and not like for mountain rucking. So you wouldn't need to cinch down your load, especially not with two straps on the side. Uh, let's come up a little bit and talk about this opening right here. So this is how you get inside the main compartment and you use this flap. Flap has um, a pouch on it too for I guess some more quick quick grab items so let's measure that this pocket is a little bit now they're about the same size about five and a half inches by nine inches so you lose an inch from that pocket and then you flip the flap open 
And then you get to this drawstring, this red drawstring, and you have a keeper there. And then you pull open the pack and inside it's just a big open cavity. You do have a laptop sleeve there and inside of there where you could probably fit a 15 inch laptop. And you do get one pocket that's attached to the top of that laptop sleeve. And that pocket is um, about nine and a half, 10 inches and about five inches deep. All the zippers are YKK even the, on the inside and there's no other organization. You could, you know, fill this pretty much pretty to the, you know, full to the top, stuff your stuff in and then cinch it closed and try to flap your flaps. Good thing is these uh, buckles do extend out so you could legitimately buckle down a big load if you really wanted to pack this out. But I would probably think about a different bag if you really have that much stuff. Let's flip it over to the back. And we have some regular backpack straps. I don't see anything really special about them to be totally honest. They feel decent. They have some mesh on the back. Um, and then you have just a regular nylon back panel, no venting. Um, and the top handle is just a thin piece of nylon. Um, yeah, Topes Designs. When I looked at this bag, I said, man, that bag looks cool. This one and the, and the uh, I think it's called the Kettle bag. It looks very cool. The design is on point. But for a small bag, there's a couple of things. Come on in, Topo. Let's, let's talk about this thing. First of all, we need some organization somewhere. Um, if this is going to be an EDC bag um, and you're probably going to be, you know, wearing it, in, you know, into the city, cruising around. Hey, you know, I'm a skater, skateboarder or whatever, ride my bike or whatever. You want some organization in either in this pocket or this pocket or even in the inside pocket. Some, you know, some sleeves so you can put smaller items, um, some USB drives. Or you could just throw it in there and just let it just move around in your bag. Some people are good with that, but when I look for stuff in my bag, I want to find it. You know, they Topo um, does sell like small pouches. Now you're throwing small pouches in the in the main compartment, and then you gotta look look for those inside this main compartment, which is you know it. It's not fully lined with the high vis. So when you look in it, then you get this, this the green fabric and it's it can be hard to see in there. So now I'm looking for those uh, pouches they sell for like $15 a piece in this large um, space and I can't even see. The water bottle pocket is too small. It looks cute, but it's not functional. Um, getting into the pack, man, I got a list of complaints about this backpack. All right, getting into this pack, you got to do a lot of stuff. You got a clip, you got a buckle, you got to un undo. So I got to unclip, I got to uncinch, got to draw it out. Now I'm in there with my flashlight looking to find my stuff. Uh, would be great to have a side access so I could look in there. Um, and let me turn this backpack around. This backpack, I think, is 140 bucks. For 140 bucks, I don't get any venting on the back, and I don't get I don't get any venting at all. So basically this backpack is just gonna sit on your back and you're gonna have a big 
sweat stain where, where this backpack sits, unless you're in a cold climate all the time. So yeah, handle strap, really it's just, you know, I mean, besides the Cordura, this backpack, you could probably pick it up. Um, besides the materials, the design itself is very basic. I don't, don't want to degrade it too much, but I don't see $139 in this. Maybe in the materials, that's where you, you know, they're trying to cut costs or something. But I would almost bring this backpack up in cost if that meant that you would get more features. Maybe some elasticity in the water bottle pocket. So I guess in conclusion, <laughs> with the Topo design, Topo design uh, backpack, I appreciate the USA build. Um, I, I, you know, I want to support products that are made in this country, but you got to do better. You know, for 139 bucks, you got to offer the customer uh, a little bit more than you know, just a bag that looks good. Um, it should it should be functional. Um, when I want to carry something like this, I want to carry it every day. I want it to look good, and when I, I want to know where my stuff is, I want all my stuff to fit. You know, I don't want unnecessary things like cinch straps um, that you don't necessarily need on a 20 liter backpack. You want a nice carry handle. You want venting on the back. You want nicer, wider strap um, backpack straps. Uh, I know this is a popular bag, but for me, it's uh, it's a pass. So this will be going back. Just trying to give you guys an honest review. Some stuff I like, and some stuff is like, all right, come on, <laughs> come on, what y'all doing out here? So this will be going back. And yeah, there's no more reason to even talk about that. So, hey, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.